it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be back here on MAFM V2 in FS13. So, I finished opening up the soybean field, I got four headlands on either end, and then kind of got a little bit opened up here. Uh, we got the um, 1570 unloading right now into the truck, truck is on course play running. And then we got the combine here, ready to roll. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. Uh, I will show you guys how many beans we've got. We've got 73,983 liters of soybeans right now. So, we're, um, we're rolling along with the beans. <clears throat> um... I did fix the sorghum issue. Uh, I went to, I opened the multi-fruit uh, XML file in Notepad++ and just added sorghum to it. Um, so <coughs> I uh, 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 so now it works. You combine it with a corn head. That's what I have it set up for, which is what you would do in real life if you're combining it. Uh, you would not use a grain header. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I have that all changed up and whatnot, and good to go, so. So our beans are also yielding pretty well. Actually, we need to get that grain cart over here now. Priority should be fill level. I almost didn't make this video today. I had some issues with my save games being missing. And I could not figure it out. And here it was a map that I had downloaded. Uh, the farm show map. Uh, that was causing my issues. So I deleted that and then got everything put back in, save game files rearranged, and now we are good to go. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the second to last harvest video. Um, we'll do some harvesting in this video, and then after this video, I'll combine until nearly the end of the field, and then um, I think Friday, then Saturday, Saturday is the next FS13 video. So in that video um, is when we will finish up the harvest. And uh, <clears throat> then we will get tillage started here and then get ready to start baling. Uh, Square Bale did win the vote. Uh, there weren't many people saying what type of baler for Square Bales. So I think we are just going to go with oh here we go finally I got my MR stuff in cool good that's why I kind of looked through all this stuff see what I got in here because I did download MR stuff and I thought that's what was causing my issues but turns out it wasn't thankfully Okay, so we need to go to baling. Rowers, wind rowers, deaders, loading, baling. So, um, I think we're going to use maybe this New Holland, either this New Holland or the Massey Ferguson baler, one of the two uh, big balers. Just because square bales are a little easier to work with than round bales. So, especially in this game, where the physics are definitely not the greatest. Um, even in 15, I prefer to do square bales. And, you know, that has better physics for bales, but... <clears throat> yeah, I did, uh, I used this combine and the corn header for it, uh, to combine the sorghum, just to make sure that this combine would work, and it does, so... 
So we are all set to plant sorghum uh, next season. So that, uh, that'll be nice since sorghum, I think, is one of the most... Well, it's not the most high-paying paying, high paying crop, but it is a pretty good paying. Uh, soybeans are definitely the most high-paying. Uh, we got 2064 to biodiesel. 2064 is going to be the biggest amount. Uh, oats are also worth quite a lot, so... To do oats and soybeans, those will be the biggest cash crops next season. Um, sunflowers won't be too terrible, and sorghum, it'll be okay. It's Sorghum is not the most high-paying high crop of all the multi-fruits, but uh, it still does pay pretty well. So... So yeah, tomorrow will be an ATS video, and then on Thursday uh, will be a modding video. Uh, not haven't quite decided as of yet what I'm going to work on. Um, I'd kind of like to finish up my Dodge, but I'm not sure uh, if I want if I want to do that right now. I do have some other models to work on. Uh, I did find a feed mix wagon model uh, that is really nice. Uh, in Blender, though, it is kind of funky colors. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, it was it's a pretty cool looking model and uh, would be fun. Uh, um, I'd like to do video on my dual lift trailer right now, but... Um, I am still doing the series for it, so, or I'm still going to do the series for it, so I'm kind of recording for it yet, and whatnot, but. So we'll just go ahead and request that guy. See if we can't uh, get unloaded before we hit the end here. I think we'll kind of drop her down. Uh, Drop her down to speed. Really, we didn't need to unload right now, but... I'd rather unload when we're on the actual side. Versus where the grain cart would be driving on the beans. That tractor doesn't do anything when it drives over the crop, but... It's just not realistic. So, I would rather not do that. Let's see, while we're in this field, let's calculate the edge path. This is field 11. Overwrite that. And because nobody can pay attention and keeps asking this same dumb, annoying question millions of times, I'm going to say it yet again. I am not buying FS-17. I do not have any plans on buying it. I will not be playing it. I don't care your opinion of the game. If you think it's a good game or not, I do not. And that is my opinion. I am entitled to my opinion. You are also entitled to your opinion, but I don't care, so I don't want it on my channel. If I delete your comment, boo-hoo. You don't need to act like some big baby because I deleted your comment, or set, told you that I have said many times that I am not getting that game. It gets quite annoying when people act like big babies because I'm like, can you not read, listen, anything like that? I've said it many times. Then they just, you know, act like big, huge babies. And it gets old. It really does. I don't care that you enjoy the game. That's fine. That's your opinion, not mine. I do not enjoy... I don't like that game. It does not appeal to me. I would rather have cattle and crops. 
Now a lot of people think that's stupid because that's even more European than Farm Sim is. I don't care about the starting equipment that comes in the game. That's what mods are for. I care about what the physics of the game are like. Now 17, they added tons of stuff that is in 15. Like they made Sunflower standard. Everybody went all, you know, loco over that. Big deal. It's been in hundreds of maps. It's not hard to add. You know, mud, I think, is even standard in it now. I don't know. You know, just a bunch of things that are already in 15 and have been in games as mods for ages. And now they decided to take them. You know, like they've even took mods of people's and put them into the game and took credit for it. And they've added useless features like, you know, you can play basketball. Well, this is a farming game. You don't... The point is to not... Is not to sit and play basketball. That's how I feel about that. You know, and trains... This is not train simulator. This is farming simulator. You know, it, that's my opinion. And if you don't like my opinion, that's fine. It's mine. You have yours. But if you're going to bring your opinion to my channel and say stupid stuff, I'm going to delete it and I'm going to block you. Big deal. Get over yourself. Uh, it gets old people so if you're gonna act like an idiot do it someplace else not here and then the retards that advertise their channels that gets really annoying it's like oh hey come check out my channel I play this I do this it's like go advertise someplace else why don't you just build your channel up like most people do instead of trying to mooch off others I mean, my channel, I never once advertised it, nor did I ever once ask for shout-outs. I mean, if I did, then I sure as heck don't remember it, because it must have been ages ago. And never advertised my channel everywhere, anywhere else on other people's. You know, I had the link to my channel in the bio of my Instagram for a while, but it wasn't just saying, you know, like, hey, look, go here. And, yeah, that just, that's really, really stupid and annoying. And that people, like, just freak out because, you know, people get so annoyed with it, then they just, like, chew them out. And it's like, well, you kind of had it coming to you because, you know, it's a question that's been answered hundreds of times. It's, you know, been said elsewhere. So... I just don't get it. People just are so dumb. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, so that's my little rant. I don't get why I have to say that over and over again in nearly every video, but evidently I do, and even if I do say it, people still comment it because they just don't even pay attention. So, Saturday's video um, on this map, it'll be finishing harvest, and then um, I think probably getting started on tillage, and then, you know, like, well, let's see here. So, after this video is done being recorded, I'm going to do some more off-camera work. Uh, I'm going to combine some of this field, I don't know how much longer, uh, because I am going to go out and move some snow because there is lots of it. There seems to be no end to the snow this year. But uh, I'm going to go move some snow for a while. Try and dig out my pickup. So that way whenever I can get it fixed. 
it's accessible because right now it is not because there's a giant pile of snow in front of it so I'm gonna try and move that dig that out some over the next week or so but um yeah so I'm gonna come by until we're over there a ways and then um uh, and then in the next video here on Saturday uh, we will finish up the harvest get tillage started uh, get everything parked away and then um, then we'll start selling grain and then uh, next Tuesday's video will be pretty much all selling grain because <clears throat> we have plenty of it to sell that is for sure but yeah just uh, between yesterday and Sunday Sunday and Monday uh, I think we got another foot of snow or nearly that much it's just ridiculous on top of the probably like three four feet we've got already like outside my house there's a giant like probably nearly 20 foot tall pile of snow from where the city pushed it up and made a huge pile and so hopefully snow doesn't fall from that it should be pretty solid so snow shouldn't fall from it uh, while I try and dig out my pickup because it's like right by my pickup so there is uh well it's you know it's probably like maybe five feet from my pickup so hopefully it's not gonna fall because if it does then I'll be there for quite a while which would not be fun and I think we're supposed to get more snow I think it's like later this week or something or next week or something I can't remember I thought I heard something about more snow I was just like really as if we don't have enough snow it's just ridiculous like here in town they can't find anywhere the city can't find any place to pile it anymore because they're just there's so much snow everywhere that you know they just can't even find any place to put it it's just ridiculous and you know there's just so much it's piles everywhere and you know they just keep finding places where it's you know an empty lot and they'll push whatever snow is there back a ways and just start dumping and then they'll have a payloader there and pile it even higher and it's just crazy and yes I do live in town I'm sure a lot of you some people already know that I do live in town and as does my dad and uh, but and then the farm is like three hours away from us but I was actually just there over the weekend not a whole lot happening just kind of feeding my uncle just kind of feeds and blows some snow he was blowing some snow and then went out and fed and my dad and I went and got his ice fishing gear ready because he wants to try and go out ice fishing fairly soon but I got all of the tip ups and the tackle and stuff but didn't have room to take the ice house home uh, he just has a little portable one and the pickup box was full because we were celebrating Christmas up there uh, since the actual Christmas uh, it was storming so we weren't able to leave town and go up there and so we were up there so we had all the Christmas gifts in the back and clothes you know all the bags for clothes and all that stuff so had all that stuff didn't have room for it but he's also got to bring his four-wheeler home too one day so that'll be it'll take two trips because he won't be able to carry both at once Ooh, that guy kind of stopped a little too hard there but uh, yeah so plus there is also a drift in front of the pig barn where the four-wheeler is in the ice house there's a nice size drift there so would have to move that first there's no way the four-wheeler would go through it and it wouldn't go over it because it's pretty soft so 
My dad and I both sank in it when we were walking. It's about maybe a foot and a half, two foot tall pile. So it... But it's pretty soft. And then, yeah, over Christmas we got probably another foot or two of snow. Foot and a half, maybe. There was a bunch of snow there. And then that, that was the second big storm. And every time we've gotten snow, we've also had the wind with it, so we just have a blizzard. We have drifts outside, it's just crazy. And then I was kind of making a big pile last night. Um, I was shoveling a bunch of snow after I got home and uh, sat and shoveled a bunch of snow. And I, the only way I could move it was I'd have to pick, you know, scoop a shovel full, walk all the way up you know halfway up the driveway and dump it into a you know just throw it into a pile because the only other option was to pile it in front of my pickup which would be pointless which would make you know my task for this week a whole lot harder because it'd just be adding extra snow that I'd have to move so that would kind of be annoying We're actually rolling along pretty well. I'm kind of surprised at how, how much we've gotten done already. And we're only, what, like 15? Well, 20 minutes in, so. <clears throat> so I'll probably, you know, combine for another 15 minutes or so after the video. Uh, I'll probably combine just long enough until the video is done exporting from Shotcut. And then I'll go out and do some shoveling and kind of, anytime I have to come in and warm up, I'll just kind of sit combine a little bit. And, uh, so we are going to start off when we do animals, we are going to just start off with the dairy, since those are right there. Um, and they don't, you know, if we do beef, that requires uh, a few extra pieces of equipment. Which really, I guess it only requires a semi-trailer, I guess, because we have a truck. But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to start off with the dairy, and then we'll move into the beef later on. And uh, I have to edit up a mower here. Um, I'm thinking of using uh, kind of one of these. I've got this one here, and I'm going to make it into a John Deere. Uh, I saw somebody in the AEM gallery that did that a while ago. Uh, like a long time ago, but I saw a picture they did that to this, so <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it as well, just because a John Deere would kind of be nicer. And then uh, I don't know if we'll need a rake at all. If we do, we'll probably, well, yeah, we will. So I think for a rake, we'll probably go with, that's just a conditioner. That's a conditioner, so we'll probably be using the Vermeer, uh, 1224 and then for silage we'll find some kind of pull behind thing and so yeah tomorrow will be ATS so that'll be pretty cool that's one of my, that's my most favorite game to play, besides FS. That's one of my most favorites. I do also have to leave today to go with my uncle, and we're going to do some title stuff for my pickup. So we can work on getting that changed over, so I can get it licensed, so that way once it's all fixed up, I can drive it. Well, drive it on the roads and be legal. I do finally have license plate lights for it. I ordered some caps off of eBay and then uh, went to Walmart and got some bulbs for it. And those are working, so that is good. 
so now now I gotta try and figure out something to put inside the pickup because my door is bent back on the driver's side in the front of it which I've found that it's kind of like a common thing in these pickups like lots of people have you know their door is bent like that I don't know why but I've just found that in the you know OBS trucks like that there's a lot of them that the door is bent which is you know it's kind of crazy but I want to find something to put either on the inside or the outside um, so that you know when it snows and you know whenever it rains in the summer and stuff it doesn't go in there I did get it sealed up I'm pretty sure uh, with the weather strip along the edge of the door um, and but I can't tell for sure because you know when it there is still snow in there but as you know at, as far as I know it's only coming in the front of the door and where it's bent back but for all I know it could be coming in you know towards the back of the cab as well so I don't know I'll have to figure out something maybe you know find like a thin piece of rubber or even or something and you know putting it on there something that's flexible that like I could put on the um, on the outside something that would kind of bend with the door and wouldn't like break or pop off or something have to look, do some looking I don't want to buy a new door because you know one that'd be a lot more expensive than something to cover it with and you know because a I'd have to either try and find one exactly the same paint scheme as mine which would probably be you know the chances of finding that at least in this area are probably pretty slim so then if I don't then I'd have to paint you know get it painted and try and match it and you know that or sit there with an odd colored door which you know really I guess wouldn't bother me either but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna have to have him drive alongside in the over the crop I didn't realize didn't pay attention to the fill level Once we unload, once we get to the end of the field here, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to jump into this 1570. See how much fuel he's got. My guess is probably starting to get low on fuel because that thing burns through fuel like crazy. Combine here is using quite a bit of fuel as well. We're getting down there a ways. Where are you going? Yeah, you better get ahead. <laughs> Get ahead. Yikes. I'm always scared when Courseplay does that because I don't know what it's going to do. If it's going to cut me off, if it's going to ram into me, or what it's going to do. I don't even think Courseplay knows what it's wanting to, do, wanting to do. Maybe it's sensing the combine? It must have been it. it must have been sensing the combine and then avoiding going there or something. I have no idea kind of crazy <clears throat> and so I did start a new project maybe that's what I'll do a video on uh, I started a new project I'm taking the um, original FS13 Northeast Iowa map and working on converting it over to 15. Um, so far I've got the map like I've got everything converted over I just gotta you know, edit the XML files and um, adjust add new triggers because you know with 13 here most things have different triggers so I have to add the original 15 triggers to it so that and then I'm gonna do some adjustments I'm gonna add some new buildings uh, to it and rearrange the yard some and then add soil mod chop straw multi-fruit to it as well 
Uh, I'm not gonna add, I'm gonna be removing the animals from it, or I already did, uh, remove the animals. So, just kinda, you know, it'll be like a mostly, a pretty much all crop map. I will remain private unless I can get permissions from the, um, original creator. But he, as far as I know, has not been around in the community for quite a while. So, so we actually got pretty much half of this, just about half of this field combined already, so, uh, it's pretty good for the amount of time here. But, um, yeah, so, that'll do it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'll work on some more combining for the next video. And, uh, yeah, so, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And if you don't, don't say anything, just leave. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, uh, which has now been revised, so be sure to check that out. There's also links down there to my social medias and my mod site, and also other cool YouTube channels that are totally worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we will see you tomorrow.